Hello, ladies and gentlemen. All right, do we have sound? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Welcome to this morning's Walk of Fame ceremony presented by the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce and the Hollywood Historic Trust. We are delighted to honor one of television's most popular TV personalities today as she is honored with the 2,477th star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Today, Hollywood honors Ellen DeGeneres. Now, before I bring her to the stage, let me tell you a little bit about our honoree. Beloved television icon and entertainment pioneer, Ellen's distinctive comic voice has resonated with audiences from her first stand-up comedy appearances through her work today in television, in film, and in the literary world. Ellen's career began as an MC at a local comedy club in her, in her hometown of New Orleans, which there are a few of you here from that area, right? Uh, which led to national recognition in 1982 when her videotaped club performances won Showtime's Funniest Person in America Award. When Ellen moved to Los Angeles, she filmed her first HBO special, Young Comedians Reunion. And those of you in the audience, if you hear something you like, let's hear a cheer. All right. Then in 1986, she filmed Women of the Night. That same year, she became the first female comedian to be summoned by, summoned by Johnny Carson to sit down with him after her performance. Ellen began her acting career in television on Fox's sitcom, Open House. She moved on to ABC's Lori Hill, prior to being offered a part on These Friends of Mine by ABC. Now, after the first season, the show was renamed Ellen. And it ran from 1994 to 1998. The show garner, garnered record ratings with Ellen receiving Emmy nominations each season in the Best Actress category. In 1997, Ellen was the recipient of the coveted Peabody Award as well as earning an Emmy for writing the critically acclaimed Puppy episode when her character came out as a gay woman to a record 46 million viewers. Ellen followed with the CBS sitcom, The Ellen Show, which ran from 2001 to 2002. Now, Ellen has made a home for herself in the daytime arena with her syndicated talk show, The Ellen DeGeneres Show. And this is of significance. The show has now entered, or it is entering, its 10th season next week on September the 10th. And get this, during its nine seasons, the show has earned a total of 38 Daytime Emmy Awards. <laughs> Additionally, Ellen has won 12 People's Choice Awards. And most recently, a Teen Choice Award for Choice Comedian for a fourth consecutive year. <laughs> this October, Ellen will be presented with the 15th annual Mark Twain Prize for American Humor by the John F. Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts. <laughs> Ellen also had the honor of hosting the highly rated 79th annual Academy Awards in 2007. In addition, she has hosted the Primetime Emmy Awards three times. She is also an accomplished best-selling author and released her third book entitled Seriously, I'm Kidding, last October. It includes a compilation of photos, quotes, and stories from her life. She also wrote My Point, and I do have one, and The Funny Thing Is, which both hit the New York Times bestseller list. But there's another side to Ellen. Both on and off the screen, her humanitarian efforts take center stage. This past year, and that deserves applause. 
This past year, she brought awareness to the anti-bullying campaign by creating a PSA entitled Be Kind. In addition, Ellen showed her support for her hometown of New Orleans, devastated by Hurricane Katrina, by raising more than $10 million to improve the lives of New Orleans residents. <laughs> Ellen also continues to share her love of animals and has brought attention to the Gentle Barn, an organization that rescues and rehabilitates animals. Now get this, and I think very few stars have done this. Overall, the Ellen DeGeneres Show has raised more than $50 million for various charities and brought attention to numerous causes. We could go on and on, but I think it's time to meet our star. Please welcome to the stage, Ellen DeGeneres. Now we have a few special guests who are with us who have asked to say a few words about our honoree before you get to hear from her. Now our first speaker today with his thriving broadcasting career and multiple ventures has built his RSP banner into a leading entertainment production company. This gentleman is redefining what it means to be a successful Hollywood entrepreneur. You have seen him on American Idol. You celebrate the new year with him, and you hear him on KISS FM every morning. Please welcome Walk of Famer, Ryan Seacrest. Congratulations. Okay, well today is a very special day that we celebrate here with Ellen, celebrating her accomplishments as an actress, comedian, host, and philanthropist. Ellen's star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame goes beyond her talent. She's truly one of the kindest people that I have ever met. Her integrity, her generosity, her good spirit and humor give life to every room that she enters. One thing I've always admired about Ellen is her courage, her courage to be herself. Whether she's in her living room or on stage, she is the same amazingly effusive, brilliantly funny and endlessly caring individual. She cares immensely about her work, about her family, about her friends, and about her animals. Then there's her love for the audience that she speaks to each and every day. Her show, you peeps, her show is such an amazing success, but it's her relentless drive and steadfast compassion that have kept people tuning in day after day now for 10 years. But one of the things as a fellow host that I admire most about Ellen is her ability to make every single guest she has on her show shine. She helps bring them out of their shells to tell the stories that everyone can relate to. People want to spend time with her. They want to share their stories with her. It's all a reflection of the person that she is and the integrity that she has in everything that she does. So I am I'm honored, privileged to be here today to celebrate and congratulate my friend, Ellen DeGeneres. Let me, let me acknowledge a few guests who are with us today. We have Mr. Chris Barton, the chairman of the board of the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce, please wave. And David Green, the chair of the Walk of Fame Selection Committee that selects our honorees. We also have several of the top brass from Warner Brothers, so please acknowledge we have Bruce Rosenblum, the president of the Warner Brothers Group, chair and office of the president, Warner Brothers Entertainment. We have Hilary Esty McLaughlin, the president of Telepictures Production. We have Peter Roth, the president of Warner Brothers Television. And we have Ken Werner, president of Warner Brothers Domestic Television Distribution. Thank you. Thank you all for joining us today. Our next speaker is the host and executive producer of one of Hollywood's most popular late night talk shows and is taped right here in the heart of Hollywood. The Emmy nominated show airs on the ABC television network and ABC has recently announced that starting on January 8th, the late night staple will air weeknights at in the 11.35 p.m. slot. Now, other news, 
is that our speaker has been ta tapped to host the 2012 Emmy Awards, which is going to happen later this month. So please welcome an upcoming Walk of Famer, Mr. Jimmy Kimmel. Hi, everybody. Um, thanks. And I, I also want to acknowledge Ryan Seacrest. It cost him $8 million in lost productivity to be here this morning. <laughs> He's missing four jobs right now. I have to admit, I'm a little bit unprepared right now because when the Chamber of Commerce called and they said they'd be honoring Hollywood's most beloved talk show host with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, well, I just thought something different was going to happen. And... Um, <laughs> They had a choice to make, and they made it, and I think they did well. I, I'm honored to have been asked to speak on behalf of my friend Ellen. Uh, Ellen is someone that I admire. I admire her talent. I admire the way she conducts herself at all times, on camera and off, when um, unenlightened people threaten to boycott her show or her sponsors uh, simply because Ellen is honest about who she is. She doesn't belittle them or attack them like I would. She <laughs> instead engages them. She asks for understanding. She explains that she just wants to be treated the way she treats people, with kindness and respect. And I think that makes a difference. I think Ellen has made a difference. And some people don't have gay friends. Some people, for whatever reason, don't get a chance to see that gay people aren't any different from any of anyone. But they see Ellen on TV and they get to know her and maybe they start to feel like they do have a friend. Now, make no mistake, Ellen is not your friend. <laughs> Ellen is my friend and I am unwilling to share her with any of you. But um, I do think that Ellen makes the world a better place and as you know, Ellen does a lot of work on behalf of, of people, of, uh, on behalf of animals and I hope that the dogs in this neighborhood take that into account when deciding which of the many stars to relieve themselves on. May I suggest Rick Dees, who I think has a star right over there. Ellen, we salute you today. We immortalize you in cement because you are brave, you are inspirational, and most of all, you are very, very funny. Congratulations. Thank you, Jimmy. Representing the City of Los Angeles, we have with us today the representative of the 4th Council District. He's often referred to as Mr. Los Angeles. Uh, he's known for saving 138 acres of land next to the Hollywood sign for public space. Please welcome the Honorable Tom LaBonge. Thank you very much, Ellen. It's a special day. Today is the city's birthday. 231 years ago, 44 people marked nine miles from the Mission San Gabriel to the banks of what would be the river, Los Angeles. But on this day, September 4th, we celebrate you on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Los Angeles loves you, Hollywood loves you, and the world loves Ellen! So, this is a special commendation with the great seal of Los Angeles, signed by Mayor Antonio Villaraigosa and Eric Garcetti, and also, right around the corner, underneath the Hollywood sign, there's a cloistered order of nuns. It's the Monastery of the Angels. They make the greatest pumpkin bread. And for your mom, this is a loaf of bread, because you're an angel in the city of angels. All right, sorry. All right, thank you so I got much. It. Thank you, Ellen. Thank you very much. You got it. Thank you. I'm going to give this to you. Here we go. I guess he's giving it to your mother. All right. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to hear from our honoree. But first, let me just say, in memory of our late honorary mayor, Johnny Grant, we hereby declare this Ellen DeGeneres Day in Hollywood. <laughs> 